When we design horizontal curves for roadways and highways, we usually know design parameters such as the radius, um, the length of this curve, the length of this horizontal curve, the origin of the curve, and the locations of the BC and the EC. Now when we go and try to construct this curve on site or on a project, uh, we usually need a way to properly stake out the points along this curve uh, so we can lay it out properly. right? And this, this method, or this can be done using uh, chord length and deflection angles on different points, different points along this curve and we use these we use these points uh, to get a nice clean curve. We use the deflection angles, we use the chord lengths and the stakes to get a nice uh, perfectly or as close to perfect curve as possible. And in order to do something like this we have to set up survey equipment um, at the BC and we have to uh, reference the tangent line at the BC on these various points and stake them out. Now here on the right side we have this generic uh, curve, this horizontal curve here, and we have the points of BC and EC, and I already drew out the tangent line um, for the BC station. I didn't draw it for EC because we really don't need it. You could if you wanted to, but I just I want to look at this curve for a bit and and uh, show you guys how we can pick any point along this curve and use geometry and trigonom trigonometry uh, to find the deflection angle and the chord length um, from the BC to that point. So let's say let's just pick a generic point. I'm going to pick a point here. I'll just call it point P. In order to stake out this particular point along this curve, we need to set up a station or a survey equipment here at BC and we need to find two things. The first thing we need to find is the angle from the tangent to point P from BC. In other words, we need to find, and I'll, I'll do this uh, as nice as possible, I need to find this angle. And I also need to find this distance, the straight distance from BC to P. Okay? This angle right here is called the deflection angle and I'm gonna I'm gonna write a little delta I'm gonna call this angle a little delta okay and the length from BC to P I'm gonna call LC little l sub C which stands for chord length okay and that's the straight distance from BC to that point P now if I drew out, if I drew out uh, the lines, uh, perpendicular lines from the tangents of BC and EC, uh, we know that would give us that would locate our. I'm sorry, this is not R. We would locate our origin of this curve. This is radius R. This is radius R. And if oh, and we also know that this angle here is the interior angle capital delta, right? This is capital delta, this is little delta. This delta right here is called your deflection angle. And your deflection angle your deflection angle is is your uh, well, I, let me define one, sorry, let me define one more angle. I'm gonna define the angle from here, from point P to the origin of this curve. Okay, so we know that the interior angle here is delta, but I'm going to call this angle right here, which corresponds to this point P, I'm going to call that alpha. Okay, now delta, which is your deflection angle, your angle from the tangent line uh, to this chord length line, your deflection angle is going to be alpha over 2. Okay, I'll actually do a little fun, fun short derivation of how we get this simple formula, but I'll save that for another video. Okay, now there's a couple equations I want to um, derive from this picture. 
uh, before we move on to an example. The first equation is an equation for angle alpha. How do we get angle alpha? Well, if I said that the angle alpha is to big delta, alpha angle is to big delta, as little l is to big L, okay, and big L is the length of this curve, and little l is the curve length from your BC to P, okay, so that's little l. So I'm going to say this small angle is to bigger angle delta, as this small l is to big L. It's just a ratio, right? And if I solve for alpha, I'll get alpha is equal to little l times delta over big L. Okay, so that's equation one. Now there's another way to do this equation. The second way is um, if we had a degree of curvature, if a degree of curvature was given, right? I'd still say the same thing. Little alpha is to little l as the degree of curvature is to 100. And this is for an arc definition, right? So if I solved for alpha here, I'd get alpha is equal to the degree of curvature times little l over 100 feet. So that's equation number two. Cool. And our third equation is actually up here. The deflection angle is equal to alpha divided by two or half of um, alpha, the alpha angle. And the last equation is the equation to get LC. Okay, so if we wanted to figure out what LC is, which we kind of have to write that we need the deflection angle and the chord length, um, LC is the distance, the straight distance from BC to P. Okay, so if I drew, um, if I drew a line from the origin of this curve, and I made it intersect perpendicular to LC, so this dashed red line, I'm going to have two right triangles, right? You have this triangle right here, and you have this triangle right here. And the base of these triangles, which would be this distance and this distance, each one of those is half of LC, okay? So, if we already know that this angle here is alpha, then I can say that this angle right here is going to be alpha over 2. And so this is getting a little clustered, so I'm going to redraw this triangle here, down here. So I'm going to try to match the colors as, as evenly as I can, right? So you have half of LC there. Then you have this dashed line there. Then you have the radius here. Right, this is your radius, this is LC over 2, LC over 2, and then you have uh, this dashed line here, this red dashed line here. And we know that this is a right triangle. All right, that's a right angle, this is a right triangle. So this angle, we said it was alpha over 2. So if I wanted to solve for LC, I could use simple trigonometry to do so. So I'm gonna say that um, I'm gonna say that the sine, the sine of alpha over two, is equal to well, what sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So LC over two divided by R, right? And if I simplify this, if I do some algebra magic. Uh, this is LC over 2 over R, which is also LC over 2R. Oops, 2R, right? If I multiplied both sides by 2R, I would get 2R sine of alpha over 2 is equal to LC. So, really, the long chord, which is, or the, I guess you can just call it the chord, length, uh, from BC to any point along this curve is simply 2 times the radius times the sine of the deflection angle. Remember the deflection angle 
is alpha over 2, and that's equal to your LC. All right, so in the next video, uh, we'll do a, a pretty straightforward example, and then in the following video, I'll actually have a quick little derivation for this uh, delta parameter we have here.